Hello, my name is Sue Lufshine and I am the Archival and Metadata Librarian at the University of Southern California Libraries. Welcome to the fifth video in the Society of American Archivists instructional video series on describing archives, a content standard. In this video, we will discuss the concepts of single level versus multi-level description. This video is free and available to anyone who wants to learn more about DAX, but if you sign up to take the DAX workshop for credit, you will be responsible for understanding this content and there will be a quiz to test your understanding. By the end of this video, you will understand the differences between the two levels of description. You will also understand the concepts of required, optimum, and added value elements and what it means for a description to be DAX compliant. The video will be interspersed with examples of each type of description to give you an idea of how to apply these concepts to your own description. Archival material can be described at many different levels. Archival description can consist of only one level of description, that is, single level, or it may include many different levels of description, that is, multi-level. What is single level description? According to DAX, single level descriptions can describe archival materials at any level, from large accumulations commonly referred to by archivists as collections, record groups, fonds, or record series, to single items and any level in between. They can, however, only describe materials at one level. What is multi-level description? According to DAX, multi-level description can describe archival materials beginning at any level, for example, collection level or series level, and must include at least one sublevel. Typical multi-level descriptions begin with large accumulations commonly referred to by archivists as collections, record groups, fonds, or record series. Multi-level descriptions build down from these to something more granular. ISAD-G, the international standard for archival description upon which DAX was built, envisions a descriptive framework that recognizes four levels, fonds, series, file, and item. But DAX does not prescribe that an archivist follow this descriptive arrangement. DAX elements can be used to describe materials arranged according to this or any other scheme of articulating levels of arrangement. The most common for archivists is collection, series, folder, item. In other words, single level description is flat and multi level description is hierarchical. DAX does not attempt to define the proper level of description for any set of archival materials. Archivists should follow the prescriptions of their institutions and apply their own judgment in making such determinations. Examples of single level description include collection level bibliographic records, preliminary accession records, collection level Wikipedia entries, or even museum records. Here's one example. And another. Examples of multi-level description include preliminary collection inventories, multiple linked mark records, or full collection inventories, such as this example. For both single and multi-level archival description, DAX prescribes required, optimum, and added value elements. Required elements together make up the minimum amount of information necessary for description to be DAX compliant. Optimum elements are recommended when appropriate. Added value elements may be of greater or lesser use or sometimes inapplicable, depending on the particular descriptive work being done. Decisions about whether to use DAX elements that go beyond the required set when describing a set of archival materials should be made based on a careful consideration of what resources are available to do archival description and what individuals who are interested in accessing the materials may desire from the archival description. In video 7, we will dive into each of the required optimum and added value DAX Part 1 elements. In conclusion, archival material can be described at many different levels. DAX prescribes required, optimum, and added value elements for both single and multi-level description. Archival description, either single or multi-level, must contain at least the required elements to be considered DAX compliant. Thanks for listening, and be sure to check out the rest of the videos in the Society of American Archivists series on DAX to become an archival description pro.